Forging Center, established in 2011, is a specialized manufacturer known for producing high-quality shell bodies ranging from 60 mm to 155 mm caliber. The forging process involves shaping metal using compressive forces through hammering, pressing, rolling. At Forging Center, the process begins with high-quality steel that is cut and heated to a precise temperature. The steel is then shaped using specialized forging equipment that applies extreme pressure, creating strong, durable components like shell bodies. Throughout the process, the metal undergoes several quality checks, including measurement and testing, to ensure it meets exact specifications. Post-forging, the material may be heat-treated, sandblasted, and mechanically process to enhance its strength and surface finish. Upon receiving the steel, it undergoes a thorough inspection process, followed by cutting, measurement, and various stages of forging. On Wednesday, April 12, 2023, workers at the Scranton Army Ammunition Plant in Scranton, Pennsylvania, operated with precision and efficiency as they manufactured 155mm artillery shells for the U.S. Army. The facility, managed by General Dynamics Ordnance and Tactical Systems, is crucial to the U.S. military supply chain, producing the large caliber ammunition used in artillery systems for both training and combat. The 155mm shells are vital to the Army's field artillery operations, providing the heavy firepower needed for both defensive and offensive missions. These shells are used in howitzer systems, which are integrated integral to modern warfare. Inside the plant, workers oversee the complex process of forging, machining, and inspecting each shell to meet the Army's stringent quality and safety standards. On this particular day, the atmosphere inside the factory was a mix of focus and urgency, as demand for these munitions remained high, especially amid increasing global conflicts and U.S. commitments to support allied nations. The production process began with the forming of steel casings, which are then precisely machined to ensure accuracy. Workers paid careful attention to every detail, ensuring the final product would be safe, reliable, and effective in the field. The Scranton Army Ammunition Plant, which has been operating for decades, plays a vital role in sustaining the U.S. military's readiness. As one of the primary manufacturers of these munitions, the facility's output is essential to the U.S. Army's capability to support ground operations. On April 12, 2023, the workers at General Dynamics were fully aware of their contributions to national defense. Every shell they produced was a crucial component of a broader strategy, reinforcing the strength and preparedness of U.S. forces, as well as the country's allies. The painting process and final inspection are critical steps in manufacturing, ensuring both durability and aesthetic quality. First, after components are fabricated and machined, they undergo surface preparation. This involves cleaning the parts to remove any dirt, grease, or debris, which ensures proper adhesion of the paint. The next step is applying the paint, usually through spray coating, which provides an even and consistent finish. Multiple coats may be applied including primers, base coats, and top coats, depending on the product specifications and the environment it will be used in. Once the paint is applied, the parts are allowed to dry or cure, which can be accelerated through the use of heat or UV light. This curing process ensures the paint's durability, protecting the surface from corrosion, wear, or other environmental factors.
The production of firearms is a and highly specialized process that combines traditional craftsmanship with modern technology. At the heart of firearm manufacturing lies precision engineering, where every step must be carefully controlled to ensure that the final product meets both performance and safety standards. Based on the production process described by Sabati Spa, a well-known firearms manufacturer, we can outline the key stages involved in crafting firearms with a particular focus on barrel production, which is a critical component. Firearm production begins with the careful selection of raw materials, typically steel, that are specifically designed for firearm use. At Sabati Spa, steel bars are procured from rolling mills and subjected to stringent quality checks. These bars must possess very high mechanical properties, as firearms operate under intense pressure and heat. The process of producing barrels starts by cutting the steel bars to the desired length using a specialized cutting machine. Precision in this step is essential, as the cut must be perpendicular to the bar's axis to ensure proper alignment in subsequent operations. Next, the cut bars are drilled to create the bore, or the hollow part of the barrel where the bullet travels. The diameter of the bore varies depending on whether the barrel is for a smooth bore or rifled firearm. Smooth bore barrels, like those used in shotguns, require larger diameters, while rifled barrels, used in rifles, require smaller and more precise bores. Specialized drilling machines, often referred to as cannon drills, are employed to create these long, narrow holes with extreme accuracy. Ruffling is the process of creating spiral grooves inside the barrel, which impart a stabilizing spin to the bullet, enhancing accuracy over long distances. At Sabati Spa, rifling is accomplished through a method known as hammer forging. A mandrel, which contains the negative pattern of the rifling grooves, is inserted into the bore of the barrel. The barrel is then hammered from the outside, forcing the steel to conform to the grooves on the mandrel. This method not only shapes the rifling with precision, but also strengthens the barrel through the forging process. Hammer forging is highly efficient and produces extremely durable barrels. After the rifling is completed, the barrels undergo another inspection to ensure that the grooves are perfectly formed and free of defects. Lapping is a critical process that smooths the internal and external surfaces of the barrel. Internal lapping is particularly important for rifled barrels as it ensures that the surface inside the bore is smooth and uniform. This step is essential for improving the accuracy and consistency of the firearm. External lapping or polishing is performed to give the barrel a clean finish and remove any imperfections from the machining process. At this point, the barrels may undergo multiple rounds of polishing, each progressively refining the finish until the desired level of smoothness and shine is achieved. Before any firearm leaves the factory, it undergoes rigorous testing. This includes visual inspections for defects, as well as functional tests to ensure that the firearm operates safely and reliably. Barrels are also tested for their rifling quality and accuracy. Sabati Spa, like many reputable manufacturers, takes great pride in the craftsmanship of its workers. Their attention to detail at every stage of the production process ensures that the final product not only meets industry standards, but exceeds them, delivering firearms that are both safe and highly accurate. One of the key operations is the lapping of the barrel and chamber. Lapping is a polishing process that smooths out the internal surfaces, reducing any imperfections that could affect the bullet's trajectory. This process is carried out in two stages, the initial lapping, which is performed in the production department, and a more refined, final lapping, which takes place during assembly. The final lapping ensures that the bore is perfectly smooth, allowing the bullet to travel with minimal friction, which improves accuracy and extends the lifespan 
caravan of the barrel. While the metal components of the firearm are being processed, the wooden parts, primarily the stock, are also being prepared. The stock is the part of the firearm that the user holds, so it needs to be ergonomic, aesthetically pleasing, and strong enough to handle the recoil of the shot. In the woodworking phase, the stock is shaped and sanded to achieve the desired contours. After shaping and sanding, the wood undergoes final surface treatment, which could involve varnishing or oiling, depending on the model of the firearm. This treatment not only enhances the appearance of the wood, but also protects it from environmental factors like moisture, which could degrade its structural integrity over time. Once the individual components of the barrel have been lapped, they are assembled. In the case of shotguns, the barrels are often arranged in an over-under configuration, where two barrels are stacked vertically. These barrels are then welded together. After welding, the barrels are carefully polished to remove any oxidation or residues left from the welding process. Oxidation can weaken the metal, and residues can interfere with the function of the firearm, so this step is essential for ensuring both durability and performance. Additionally, workers check the alignment of the rib, a strip of metal that runs along the top of the shotgun barrel to assist with aiming. The rib must be straight and properly aligned to ensure accurate shooting. The action is the part of the firearm that loads, fires, and ejects the cartridge. In this phase, the metal action is assembled with the stock, ensuring a perfect fit. The document mentions that workers meticulously adjust the dimensions of the wood and metal components to achieve optimal alignment, ensuring that the firearm functions smoothly when assembled. Part of this assembly process involves fitting the trigger mechanism. For bolt-action rifles, like the ones described in the document, this involves installing the trigger, bolt stop, and other components that control the firing process. The trigger mechanism is one of the most important parts of the firearm because it directly affects the shooter's ability to fire the weapon accurately and safely. After the main components of the firearm have been assembled, final adjustments are made to ensure that everything works in harmony. For example, the chamber headspace, the space that holds the cartridge when the action is closed, must be carefully adjusted to ensure proper loading and firing Firing. This is done using precision go-no-go -no -go gauges. The go gauge ensures that the chamber is not too small, while the no-go gauge confirms that it is not too large. If the chamber passes both tests, it is correctly sized, which is crucial for both performance and safety. Workers also check the fit of the action to the barrel sleeve to ensure that the firearm can open and close smoothly. If necessary, they make small adjustments to ensure that the action locks securely when the gun is closed. The last step in the firearm production process is testing and inspection. This is one of the most critical phases, as it ensures that the firearm is safe to use and functions as intended. Specialized personnel test the firearm's mechanisms, including the trigger, extraction, and all moving parts. They ensure that the firearm cycles correctly, locks securely, and operates smoothly under all conditions. In some cases, firearms are also test-fired to ensure that they perform accurately. Any imperfections found during the stage are corrected before the firearm is sent out for sale. The action is the part of the firearm that loads, fires, and ejects the cartridge. In this phase, the metal action is assembled with the stock, ensuring a perfect fit. The document mentions that workers meticulously adjust the dimensions of the wood and metal components to achieve optimal alignment, ensuring that the firearm functions smoothly when assembled. Part of this assembly process involves fitting the trigger mechanism. For bolt-action rifles, like the ones described in the document, this involves installing the trigger, bolt stop, and other components 
components that control the firing process. The trigger mechanism is one of the most important parts of the firearm because it directly affects the shooter's ability to fire the weapon accurately and safely. After the main components of the firearm have been assembled, final adjustments are made to ensure that everything works in harmony. For example, the chamber headspace, the space that holds the cartridge when the action is closed, must be carefully adjusted to ensure proper loading and firing. This is done using precision go no-go gauges. The go gauge ensures that the chamber is not too small, while the no-go gauge confirms that it is not too large. If the chamber passes both tests, it is correctly sized, which is crucial for both performance and safety. Workers also check the fit of the action to the barrel sleeve to ensure that the firearm can open and close smoothly. If necessary, they make small adjustments to ensure that the action locks securely when the gun is closed. The last step in the firearm production process is testing and inspection. This is one of the most critical phases, as it ensures that the firearm is safe to use and functions as intended. Specialized personnel test the firearm's mechanisms, including the trigger, extraction, and all moving parts. They ensure that the firearm cycles correctly, locks securely, and operates smoothly under all conditions. In some cases, firearms are also test-fired to ensure that they perform accurately. Any imperfections found during the stage are corrected before the firearm is sent out for sale. At this point, a spacer located between the barrels may be removed and replaced with one of a different size. This spacer plays a key role in determining the distance between the barrels, and replacing it with a smaller one helps fine-tune the alignment. After the new spacer is inserted, the barrels are heated again to solidify the bond and lock the new alignment into place. Following these adjustments, the shotgun is fired again to assess whether the changes have brought the two barrels into proper alignment. This retesting phase may need to be repeated multiple times with incremental adjustments made after each firing until the barrels are aligned to the desired specifications. The ultimate goal is to have the two shots land within close proximity, ensuring accuracy and consistency. After the barrels are properly aligned, the final step involves adjusting the sight of the shotgun. The marksman may replace the sight with one of a different height to raise or lower the point of impact, further refining the accuracy of the shots. This adjustment ensures that the shotgun is correctly zeroed, meaning that the shots hit the intended target point. The process concludes when the distance between the two shots is deemed acceptable, typically around 1 to 2 centimeters apart, and the weapon is correctly zeroed in relation to its sight. The shotgun is now calibrated and ready for use, having passed all safety and accuracy tests. Importance of professional handling It is important to note that these operations should only be performed by skilled professionals with the proper tools and experience. Attempting to replicate these procedures without the necessary expertise could result in serious damage to the weapon, injury to the user, or even fatal accidents. Sabati Spa emphasizes that this process is highly specialized and should not be undertaken by untrained individuals.